Hello and welcome to another Selenium WebDriver tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how you can handle the jQuery uh, resizable uh, web elements on any web page. So if you can see, this is the jQuery user interface website and there is a resizable uh, element here. So which you can, you know, like just uh, hold your mouse uh, and uh, the left click and then drag accordingly to resize this particular web element manually so we'll handle that using selenium web driver and see how you can do that so this is also possible through the actions class that we have learned in the previous tutorial and we'll understand how you can handle this web element to resize it so let's go back to uh, selenium or eclipse id and what i'll do is i'll uh, simply copy the mouse over uh, class and uh, then we'll paste it and what I'll do is I'll say resize demo change it to one okay and here let's open the website jQuery sample website so I'll open this particular link so simply replace the get URL with this particular jQuery UI URL. I'll maximize the page. And then we have to basically find the web element where we have to click and resize, right? So this is the particular location where we have to click, right? So let me refresh the page and let me inspect this location here. So this is if we scroll here let me uh, use this tool here and just hover over this little icon here and just right click and copy the xpath okay so i'll use xpath to be um, you know to make it real quick and then just paste it and we'll store this into the web element uh, element type or uh, the variable element so then here we are creating our object of the actions class right and now we can call all the methods that are available in the actions class okay so in order to resize what you need to do is you need to simply you know use the method drag and drop so what you can do is you can just simply say action dot drag and drop okay so you have drag and drop when you have the source and the target so you can specify the source web element and uh, the target where this particular source web element needs to be dropped or we can specify the x and y offset so we'll use the uh, x and y offset to resize and simply provide the in the source you'll provide the web element right so which element you want to resize and then x and y offset so uh, you can find the x and y offsets so there are many uh, add-ons available so i have just installed you know uh, the coordinates in uh, chrome so uh, if you simply click on it i can see what are the coordinates at the moment and then where i need to drag and drop so let's say i want to um, drag and drop to 300 and 230 right so x is 300 and y is 230 so let me change that to x as 300 and y as 230 all right now what is the next step next step is to basically say perform okay so this is important to actually perform the drag and drop operation all right let's save it and run this and see this in action so this should go back to the web element and resize it so it's not uh, picking up the live version but uh, that should be fine it's cached version there is some issue let's go back and see what the issue is okay it's not able to find okay so 24 no such web element okay now I know what the issue is because we haven't specified this frame, right? We haven't switched within this frame. So we have to first switch within this frame and how we can identify that this is a frame. If we inspect this whole box here, okay, just select this tool 
and you can simply hover over this particular location and you can see this whole part or this whole rectangle is an iframe so we first have to switch to that iframe let me copy the locator of the iframe and we'll switch before we actually do any actions within that frame okay so what i'll do is i'll first um, store this iframe locator so i'll say find by into a web element so find by um, the x path and then switch to that frame okay so i'll have stored that and what i'll do is i'll say web element frame is equal to right and now i can call um, switch to method so we'll say driver dot switch to dot frame and we'll use web element that we have stored so in this case we have stored this frame in the variable frame and this will switch to the particular frame first before actually um, you know resizing the web element okay let's run again and see the results so this time it should go back you know to the frame successfully and select the drop down or select the box and resize it so let's see still not working so we have to see what the error or oh, it worked it worked this time uh, but still there is some error uh, so move target out of bounds okay so it looks like because we have specified you know uh, 300 in this case right so it moved out of bound or basically it uh, the the coordinates are out of the you know this particular frame so that is why you got that exception because there is this section already on the page displayed so when we specify 300 in the y-axis um, you know uh, then it's going out of this frame okay so let's reduce that uh, 300 or the x-axis and the y-axis stuff as well so we'll leave that x to 300 uh, i think it's the issue with the y-axis because if you look closely uh, the y-axis i don't think it's you know like 230 so if we just try to scan because of this you know section here it is moving out of bound so we'll change it to say 100 rather than 230 and then run again and let's see that it doesn't give any error this time so this website is not available online it's taking the cached version um, most of the time so uh, that is why we are having these issues i think it's not pulling up the website let me close it and try to run again and because we are not getting the live version it's uh, giving that message and asking us to use the okay this time it pulled the website and you can see that it has resized the web element successfully all right so if you know it will be able to figure out the you know uh, the live version of the website the coordinates uh, as far as the coordinates are within this particular frame it will be fine so in this case it has uh, changed the or resized the window to 300 and the 100 right so basically it has moved 300 in the x direction uh, this particular web element and 100 in the y direction now if i specify you know the x and y coordinates which move out of the this particular frame then you will get the uh, out of bounds exception okay and we were getting that out of bound exception when we specified you know the coordinates previously because the live version of the website was not being pulled and uh, there was a message or there was a section already occupied so if you see here this section was already occupied so when we said you know move to the right 300 and down 230 so below it was moving out of this frame and you were getting that out of bounds exception okay so you have to make sure uh, you know hit and trial uh, things and then also ensure that you analyze 
uh, you know your coordinates properly okay so you 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 need to analyze these coordinates so you can add some add-on and then basically see what coordinates you can specify so for example i can specify up to you know say uh, 581 to 407 right or even even further to fill out the whole you know box or with this resizable uh, web element but um, in case there is something some error that appears in this page then you might get the error so it's mostly you know in automation you have to make sure you do a lot of hit and trial and there will be you know a lot of errors that you'll figure out and if you read those errors properly you will be able to learn automation very easily and you'll be able to fix the issues on your own so that's pretty much all about how you can use uh, you know how you can resize the web elements uh, with the jquery web elements using selenium webdriver so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching